Hi, and welcome to SE Scholar's presentation on how to get INCOSI certified in three steps. SE Scholar is a company dedicated to helping system engineers obtain their INCOSI ASEP or CSEP certification. Our goal is to reach all system engineers with affordable, high quality system engineering instruction no matter where they live and work. So let's get right into it. Step one is prepare the application. This is easy to say, but very hard to do. We've noticed over the years that many students misunderstand the amount of time it takes to fill out an application. Incozy estimates that it could take up to 20 hours to complete the paperwork. It's also very important to remember that you cannot take the exam until Incozy accepts your application. Therefore, step one is to concentrate on filling out the CSEP application correctly. So let's talk about the three components that make up the application. One of the components of the application is you need a bachelor's degree or international equivalent in some kind of engineering field, such as aeronautics, biomedical, chemical, civil, computer, electrical, environmental, mechanical, nuclear, software, and of course, systems engineering. Other acceptable technical fields of study include chemistry, computer science, mathematics, or physics. If you have a non-technical degree, or even if you don't have a degree, it's okay. You just need to add more experience to your application. Speaking of experience, the next component in the CSEP application is documenting your experience. You need a minimum of five years of professional level experience in 14 systems engineering functional areas such as requirements engineering, design development, system integration, technical planning, specialty engineering, just to name a few. They even have one called other for functions not included in the 14 as long as you justify them as a systems engineering activity. And Cozy wants to see that you have experience in performing some, but not all, systems engineering areas. The minimum requirement is you need to show that you have had at least one year of experience in at least three or more of those functional areas. Placing your experience into these 14 areas takes the most time in the whole application process. You can't send in your resume and think that'll work, and Cozy will outright reject such a move. What you need to do is to take each of your positions and split them into the appropriate functional areas. The last component of the application is getting confirmation of your experience by the appropriate recommendations from at least three colleagues, peers, or managers. You need at least three references that can cover at least five years of your experience and verify the three areas of systems engineering experience you claimed within your application. It's important that the references are knowledgeable in systems engineering. You need to contact your references and get them to fill out a reference endorsement form that they will email to INCOSI. Of course, this is just a high-level view of the application process. There are more nuanced aspects to filling an application that you need to know so over at our SE Scholar website, you can sign up to attend or see a recording of our free webinar dealing with understanding the INCOSI certification process. For an hour and a half, we provide an extensive overview of the INCOSI organization, the certification process, and tips on filling out a proper and effective CSEP application. Learn more at sescholar.com. Once you're done with filling out the application and making sure your references will give you a recommendation, you then can submit the application to INCOSI for processing. They will need several weeks to process it, so now you'll have time to study for the exam. Step two is learn the handbook. The exam for the SEP certification is wholly based on INCOSI's System Engineering Handbook, based on the ISO standard 15288. If this seems daunting, don't worry. SE Scholar has an online class to get you through the entire handbook. We provide you with a comprehensive chart of all processes, giving you a contextual understanding of how the processes interact with one another. 
The chart may look complicated at first glance, but we walk you through the entire chart. By the end of the class, the chart will make total sense to you. We teach the class online, so no matter where you live, you can get high quality instruction on the Encozy SE Handbook. We also have recorded videos of previous classes, so you watch and learn at a time convenient to you. We have quizzes that are structured just like the exam. We even provide a two-hour, 120-question practice test just to get you into the right mindset before you take the exam. And we provide you access to all our material in PDF form so you can print them out or read them on your tablet. We include our process flow diagram as well as a study guide of all the processes. We cover the entire handbook within seven classes. In order to give the handbook a more contextual understanding, we actually teach the handbook inside out, starting with Chapter 7, Organizational Project Enabling Processes, and finishing up with Chapter 4, Technical Processes. We explain how organizations start projects because of agreements where a supplier provides a system to an acquirer by using technical processes outlined in an organization's life cycle model. So, SE Scholar provides all you need to learn and understand the Encozy SE Handbook. And as a side benefit to this training, you actually understand the fundamentals of systems engineering. Step three is to take the actual exam. Encozy has to first accept your application. Once they have, they'll provide you with an eligibility ID, which you give to Prometric in order to schedule the exam at a Prometric facilities on a date that is most convenient to you. Prometric is an independent test organization that Encozy uses to administer the exam. The test itself is two hours long and consists of 120 questions. My best suggestion for you is that you schedule the exam some four or five weeks in the future. Then use that time to really learn and study the handbook. Perhaps take my class, but however you study, you should try to take the exam right after you finished your studying regimen. Once you're done with the test, you'll know almost immediately if you passed or failed since the exam is computer scored. If you failed the exam, you'll receive a brief summary of the exam sections and an indication of how you did on each. You have a limit of three attempts to take the exam within your application period of 12 months. And Cozy still needs to finish evaluating your application, looking to make sure your experience and education meet the SEP criteria. Lastly, they review the recommendations from your references. If you pass the exam and your references have come through, then congratulations, you are certified. The Encozy Certification Program Office will follow up with notice of your certification. You'll also receive a CSEP pin. You should wear it proudly. Thank you for spending time with me to discuss the Encozy certification process. Find out more at the Encozy SEP website or you can visit my website at www.se-scholar.com.